Okay, this is my silver coins. All of these are silver, 90%. There's probably five rolls of 40% in here. So let's go take a look. Oh, by the way, just barely fit on the table that is stretched to 12 feet. And as you can see, I went from edge to edge with one exception. I have two little holes right there. I absolutely could not find something to stick in them. So, this is everything. An awful lot. And 90% uh, of this, well probably about 85% of it is uncirculated. Probably 50 to 60% is really high grade. So let's see if we start here with Six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, three, and four. And then the other side goes from sixty-five to seventy-two. Oh, and those aren't silver. Sorry, guys. These ones here aren't silver. I guess I shouldn't have put those out. The top one is. These are really nice, these double sets. This is in the Capital Plastics containers. I really like them. So as you can see, I do have some, I got five bucks on them, four bucks on them. Those are MS-64s and fives. But once you get the uh, full bands or a torch, then, uh, then the price just really jumps. So and I'm missing one of my barber pages. Otherwise I have two full sets, or almost full sets. I'm real close to full. And then my proof sets, which starts at 56. There's my 57s, 8, my 59s, 60, 61, 62, 63 with the mint set, 64. And this is kind of nice because all of these, well, these are still unopened. These are the ones I found. I had made a video about. And I'll be opening some of those real soon. And then my quarter book in the back goes to about 43 or so with some really nice uncirculated. It's missing a few here and there. My dimes. My proof set. Now. These are full boxes of a hundred with quarters, full box of a hundred with, so that's 20 rolls of the dimes, and original bank wrapped uh, wrappers from the bank from years ago. I take that back. The quarters are from years ago. The dimes, I, I got it just uh, probably four or five years ago. And then some of these in the front here are some of the old bank rolls of the silver that I have. Don't have a whole bunch other than that right there. And then let's go a little closer here. The uh, P starts with 21 right there. There's a much better one in this one. Yeah, that one, that one's so nice. Probably an MS-64, five. Probably five. 
So then I go through my halves. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't show all my Morgans. And these prices are based on me doing research with PCGS coins that are graded with these levels. So I have stuff to compare to. And the prices are what I think I can get by getting them graded. That's my whole purpose of this is to build a nice coin collection and just keep upgrading until I have nothing but uncirculated coins like I almost do. And then get the coins graded as I find them. Now here's some of the 40s. It's here and then two of the rolls that are down there. And you guys have seen a lot of this before, of course. Probably most of it. Quarters, Mercury Dimes, Barber Half Dollars. And that's kind of a neat one because it's every year. And these are my, this is my money here. My dimes that I have are extremely high grade. It's where I've made most of my money is off those dimes. Barber half dollars. And you'll see some like that one, 1900 bucks because of full bands. And I'll do a video soon, guys. I'm going to show you what full steps are, what full bands are, show you real coins with the high grades, raw. And we'll go through it all. The pimp bars, which I really like. Um, the big ones here are 100 grams. Snake, horse, and dragon. Some Mercury Dimes. My five ounce quarter. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. But you've probably seen these before. I don't have anything real special. Except... That coin right there is kind of nice, a couple hundred bucks. But other than that, my graded coins, because I sell my higher grade coins, except for the ones that I'm using to compare with. And all these are full bell lines. Those are some of the ones I'll be showing you guys. Bunch of barbers. Each one of the barbers is 25 in a row. Because I can fit so many more because they're worn. Mercury Dimes. This is all 1964, real high end. The middle one is all toned, as you can see with the colors. There's some more of the toned. Now, if you guys see anything that you have questions about, Please feel free to ask. I've been sick for a long time and just now getting back on my feet, so it feels good to uh, get this stuff out. Quite a chore though. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Another double mint set or proof set. It's a quarter grading set. Oh, that's why I should have pulled out was my other grading sets. I have about six of them. Oh, and I didn't pull out my... <laughs> now I remember. I didn't pull out my uh, Capital Plastics 
uh, typeset. I don't have all. I must have a dozen other capital plastic items that would have fit nicely on the table. But uh, here's what I have, guys. Any questions, please feel free to ask. There's no such thing as a dumb question in my book. That's nice. Full boxes. I figure I have about 700 face of silver. And it's going to get broke up really soon for my kids. I've got kids trying to buy houses and stuff or get into houses, so let's see where it goes. Thanks, guys.